Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, so, I know I've been playing a lot of fun decks, a lot of weird decks, a lot of alternate win conditions, but I figured um, this video is going to come out on Monday and I think there's only going to be one day left of the current season, but since there's only one day left of the current season, I figured this will come out right when the season resets. Um, so this week we're going to be playing a different deck. Um, I mean, it is fun, don't get me wrong, but... It's not an alternate win condition, it's not a janky deck, it's not a weird deck. Uh, this is Soul Tide Midrange. This is probably one of the top three decks right now. And last season, it's what between this and Esper Control is how I got to Mythic. So, this is probably, arguably, the best deck. Um, it used to be just Golgari, but then with Ravnica Allegiance, we got um, Hydroid Crisis. So, that pretty much made it soul tie. But, so we'll go over the deck a little bit. Uh, it's pretty simple. We'll start off with uh, four line of our elves, just get a little bit of ramp. Uh, we've got some wild growth walkers, which, it's a 1-3, so it's just a good body for two. But, mixed with the merfolk branch walker and the jade light ranger, it could gain you a bunch of life, and it could get very big. Uh, easily a 3-5 with one jade light ranger, you put a couple, so... Then we've got some cast downs, just to destroy something that isn't legendary. Just one assassin's trophy. Uh, it works really well for like search for Escanta, um, stuff that like Vraska's contempt or cast down won't hit. So just one assassin's trophy, four hydroid crisis. This is just such a good card. Uh, if you have five mana open, you do it for three, you gain a life, you draw a card. If you have more, you draw more, you gain life. But this is really what made the Golgari deck, the Golgari midrange, turn into Soul Time midrange. Um, so we already went over the Jade Light Ranger. Just one Raven Ravenous Chupacabra. Again, it's just another 2 2 body, but it works really well. You can pretty much get rid of anything that doesn't have Hexproof. Uh, Hostage Taker. Um, since Hydroid Crisis came out and it went to Soul Tie, Hostage Taker is just a very good addition. Um, basically, you just get to steal something and then you can play it so long as you have mana. Uh, a couple of Raska's Contempt, a uh, really good card, gets rid of pretty much almost anything except for the enchantments, but that's why we have the Assassin Trophy. Uh, two Vivian Reeds. So, uh, the actual deck plays three Vivian Reeds, but I didn't have three. So, I only put in two. And I replaced the third one with the Vraska Relic Seeker. Uh, it's, I find it works pretty well, to be honest. I didn't find ever needing, like, a, a, a Vivian. It, it does cost one more, but the minus three ability is kind of the same. Uh, it's Artifact Creature Enchantment. Artifact Creature... Uh, artifact enchi Enchantment or Creature with Flying. So, actually, Vraska's is a little bit better sometimes because you can hit those ground creatures. Um... I actually, I think it's going to be the last game you see. I was playing against Mono Red. And um, between these two, at the same time, I was actually able to uh, take out the Rekindling Phoenix because I used Vivian to destroy the creature with flying. Then when it created the token, I created the token with Vraska. So uh, both of them together work very well. One Carnage Tyrant uh, on the top end, really good. Hexproof. The only thing that really destroys it is Settle the Wreckage. Uh, unless they play Detection Tower, I've seen, I've seen some Detection Towers running around. Not too many, but, and then Fine Finality, uh, a really good card. Uh, in the early game, if you're playing uh, aggro or maybe against Mono Red Burn and your creatures are dying, um, you can just get them back in your hand. The late game is pretty much a board wipe, and you can usually keep one or two creatures on the battlefield. So, uh, the mana base is pretty simple. Um, let's see. Uh, five Forests, two Memorial Folly, again, another way to get some creatures back into your hand. And then just the three Drowned Catacombs, three Watery Graves, four Overgrown Tombs, uh, four Woodland Cemeteries, and four Breeding Pools. Um, yeah, so like I said, this isn't, like, a fun deck, this isn't a jank deck, this is just a really good deck that, uh, if you can, if you have the rares, if you have the Mythics, if you have the Wild Cards, and you do want to grind towards Mythic, this is a... A very good deck. I, th um, I think actually because the new season is coming out, I think uh, this one's coming out on Monday. And I think Wednesday we're going to do Esper Control. Um, 
And then Friday, we're going to do some mono red, but I'm probably going to play like two different versions of it because they're really fun. So we're going to do like a new season starting uh, grunge way to mythic with these couple of decks. So yeah, if you want to see that, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell icon. You'll see, you'll, uh, you'll get notified every time we post a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday on YouTube. And I think I might be going to a fourth video each week because um, I've been pumping out videos a lot. I've been playing a lot of Magic. I've been playing a lot. So I uh, might do another one on the weekend or might do like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Keep the weekends to myself. But we'll see. So uh, no more talking. Let's get to the games. Alrighty. So I'm so time mid-range. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can win the game. All right. Henningar. Um, Wild Growth Walker, Merfolk Branch Walker, yeah, we'll keep it. Don't get to go first, but Lanny, yep, there's a lot of War Elves. Alright, so Overgrown Tomb, Empty, Empty's Tapped. <laughs> Wild Growth Walker, uh, looks like we have the Mirror Match right now. Uh, so let's see. Uh, it really comes down to uh, who played first, and unfortunately we did not. So, yep, there's the Jade Light Ranger. And they are officially ahead. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess no blocks. Um. Yeah, I mean, they get to play their... Chupacabra first, we, yeah, uh, we didn't play first, so, library, uh, may as well attack, Let's see what happens, I mean, if they don't draw well, maybe, if they do, they're playing a Chupacabra, um, yeah, that, we played second, so, we lose. That's really what it comes down to. So, alright, well, let's see. We got our own Chupacabra. Kill the Wild Growth Walker. All right, Merfolk Branch Walker. Vampire Sovereign. Interesting. Merfolk Branch Walker. All right, Breeding Pool. <laughs> I'll block. We can trade Chupacabras. All right, so... Hmm. We can Krasis for three. No. Let's Wild Growth Walker into a Branch Walker. <laughs> and we get our own breeding pool. Alright. Prime Speaker Vanifar. Alright, so they're not playing a standard build. So... We can Krasis for four. Alright, so let's... Oh. Uh, hmm. Unfortunately, that's legendary. There's not much we can do about that. Alright, so they can't actually get a... Okay. I was seeing if they can get a... Uh, I was seeing if they can get a, um, a Chupacabra, but they can't right now, so that's good. All 
Alright, Simic Ascendancy. Hmm. They are playing a weird version of this deck. Alright, so they're gonna go, I guess, get a Branch Walker, unless they have something that... I don't know. I'd like to find some removal that's not cast down. Okay, Wild Growth Walker. That's... So now I guess they're gonna play something. Yep. Alright, so they get a Guild Gate out of it, which isn't horrible. Alright, so... We... Still have. Alright, so Enter's tapped. Why don't we. Cast down their walker. And play a Jade Light Ranger. Uh, library and library. So we. Two, four. Alright, so we'll attack and attack. If they want to, uh, triple block, or... I'm okay with taking out a bunch of their creatures, because we have another crisis. Alright, so they don't. Alright, again, if they attack, I'm pretty okay with... So, they still can't get a Chupacabra. We also have this. So next turn, we're definitely using this on Vanifair. All right, Jade Light Ranger, Mirror Image. <laughs> mirror Image again. All right, so Simic Ascendancy. This takes 20 counters, right? Yeah. All right. Whatever they attack with, I'm definitely okay with trading, especially the Jade Light Ranger. Okay, put a 1-1 counter. So, one attack, huh? Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. Alright, so... Relic Seeker. We will... Destroy. Oh, I'm just we'll get our token. Then we will cast down. I know I said I was going to use it on the Prime Speaker, but kind of like halfway through, I realized that if the Prime Speaker doesn't have anything to do, it's. It's the same as destroying that. So this way we get in for a big attack. So they'll probably put the 1-1 one, one counter on Prime Speaker. Ooh, finality. Alright. So we keep our wild growth. Um, hmm. So let's just destroy again. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so let's attack. And let's crisis for six. Uh, make that into anything. Draw a bunch of cards. Enters tapped, and let's see what they do. Another finality doesn't save them. Oh, alright, they scoop it up. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know I was a little bit uh, defeatist in the beginning of this video, in the beginning of this game, but uh, it really did seem like it was a mirror match, and since we played second, it looked like everything we were going to do, they were going to do a turn first. But, uh, that just goes to show you, don't concede. Because you never know what's going to happen, so... That was a good solid win. Alright. A little more soul time mid ranged in ranked. Alright, Hedda or Hita. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're gonna mulligan. Mm. Alright, this is better. 
and we'll keep that. So let's... We'll pay two life, throw down a Lanawar. Unfortunately, we still don't have blue mana, and we won't. But, playing against green helps. So, yeah, let's just branch walker. Mm, yeah, we'll keep it. So, all attack, get in for our one while we can. Okay, so let's... Yeah, let's just attack with everything. And Jade Light. Uh, library, and we have blue mana now, so... Anything they play, we can steal. Steel Leaf Champion is an awesome card for us. Alright, so we're going to pay 2 life, and let's, let's steal that, get in for 7, bring them down to 8, and, uh, yeah, that was a pretty aggro start. Alright, so Beast Whisper, so let's... Let's get in for five. Because I assume he's going to block one of the either Jade Light or Merfolk. Blocks the Hostage Taker. Alright, so either he wanted his creature to be alive. Yeah, I guess he just wanted his creature to be alive. Alright, so let's play a Jade Light. Go a little exploring. Uh, we can put that in the graveyard. And opponent scoops it up. Alright, so that was a really quick aggro start. Uh, I think it helped us that he had no one or two drops. But, still, really good win. Alrighty, playing some Salt Time Midrange in Ranked. Um... This is a pretty good hand. Turn one Lanoir. They got an Assassin's Trophy. Alright, we'll keep it. Alright. So let's see what we're playing against. Uh, opponent. Making decisions. Alright, Island. Um. Yeah, pay two life. Let's get that out. Hmm. So, okay, Azorius. Search for Escanta. Um. All right, so we play that. Um. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna Assassin's Trophy the search, but for now, let's just explore. Um, actually, yeah, we'll keep that. I don't exactly have the mana to pay for it yet, but... Just get, get a bunch of power on the board. Yeah, we'll throw that in tapped. Uh, let's attack. See what happens. Alright, so next. Um... Yeah, let's see if it gets countered. I'm gonna bet it does. So at least this way, maybe we just get a counter out of their hand. All right, so quench. That's fine. Where do they put it? dive down? Okay, so they are playing creatures. All right, so hmm. Um, let's attack, and they are playing, I mean, they have a dive down, so they are playing creatures. Um, yeah, it's end the turn. Not gonna play the, uh, the Chupacabra yet. 
Alright, so whatever they had, they liked. Alright. Pass, pass. My turn. So they are missing land drops. I mean... We are as well, but... I mean, they're on a two-turn clock at this point. So, yeah, let's play the Chupacabra, see if it gets countered. I'm gonna guess it does. But again, we just get a counter out of- Okay, so absorb, they'll gain three life. Ah, that's a pain in the butt. What are they up to? Alright, so four in the graveyard. Alright, so they hit a land drop. Shalai. Alright, so... Let's pay two life and play Vivian. We'll get rid of that and we attack. Get rid of the uh, Shalai now, mainly because. We've already seen that they have dive down, so. Alright, another land. Maybe it's a fairy this turn? Oh, Divine Visitation. Alright. So they're tapped out again. Uh, let's take a look. See what we get. Um, land is actually not horrible. Alright, so let's pay two life. Let's attack. And Hydroid Crisis for four? Yeah, four. Alright, draw two cards. Alright, so I think we win well okay, so they don't get to flip the Ascanta. And unless they have a settle, which I'm definitely gonna play around. Um Alright, so let's Let's just attack. See if they have a settle. I'm gonna guess the. All right, yeah. So settle the wreckage. All right, so resolves. We will get a land out of our deck. Uh, next to damage. Oh, oh well. All right, I forgot to do Vivian. It's a pain in the butt. So they get to the flip his counter, which isn't great, but. We have a Carnage Tyrant. Alright, so they're gonna go looking. They've only got two mana up. Okay, so... They have the pose, so we're gonna pass to attackers, pass. Alright, so my turn. Uh, let's not forget to do this this time. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll take the wild growth. Um, we do have to just make sure because those one ones could be four fours with divine visitation. So let's go to attackers. I'm assuming they're gonna tap the creature. Yep. Alright, so next two attackers, may as well get in for one, and then we're going to, let's Wild Growth Walker, uh, Wild Growth Walker, uh, Merfolk Branch Walker. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Um... There's a good chance that he has a Depose in hand, which would make two four fours instead of two one ones. So I'll keep a cast down. All right, so he's gonna go looking, and I got the good game. All right, second search for Escanta, and scoops it up. All right, well, there's another win. I guess it was kind of like blue-white control tokeny things.
Yeah. Luckily, missing the, uh, forgetting to do Vivian didn't really cost us the game. All right, more soul time mid-range in ranked. Um, I think I've just won, like, five games in a row, which means, uh, here comes Mono Red. All right, Jello. Jello Mamba 24. Um, not a great hand, but we'll keep it. Hopefully we draw one land. Alright, so enters tapped. Next turn we'll play a well. I told you. I won about five games in a row, so uh now we play against uh mono red. I don't know why he didn't attack though. Um, I'm guessing he kept it up in case I played, like, a Lanawar Elf or something like that, but not attacking was weird. There's a Lava Coil. Uh, if we don't draw land, this is going to be a really fast game. We didn't draw land. Alright, well, let's go exploring, see if we can't find a land. Um... Unfortunately, Lanawar Elves just instantly dies to uh, the Firebrand, so no sense in trying to keep that around. Hopefully we'll get into a land. Hopefully we'll get into black mana. Although, I guess we don't really need it that much, to be honest. Doesn't really matter which land I draw, but... Alright, so G2 Lava Runner and a Runaway Steamkin. Alright, well, there's our black mana. Um, unfortunately, I did lose the, uh, Wild Growth Walker, so I'm not gaining life, but, oh, there's all our land. Alright, so I'm going to say no attacks right now. Uh, the biggest thing right now would be to just, uh, is he going to Fanatical Firebrand, the, uh, Jade Light? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, the biggest thing right now is I want a really big, uh, really big crisis. Gain a bunch of life, draw a bunch of cards, and hit him in the air. Get something out of the range of, like, a lava coil. Uh, two runaway Stevenkins isn't great. I am gonna block. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Oh, I thought because he had the mana open, I thought he was going to, uh... I thought he was going to play a red spell and pump it. Alright, so let's hostage take her. Let's get rid of his other Steamkin. And, uh... Next turn, we can either Jade Light... We're getting close to Finality. Which, now Finality is, uh... Not as good. Um. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Not attacking. Are we going to attack? Seems like he wants to. I mean, I will absolutely block it. If you have a shock in hand, you have a shock in hand. Alright, he doesn't. So let's... Let's Overgrown Tune Tapped. Let's Jade Light Ranger. Try exploring. Uh, that's definitely going on the... Going on top. Play Lanawar. Uh, I guess no attacks. It'll just die. Uh, one, two... One, two, three, four... All right, so we can we can hydroid crisis for four. If I pay two life, I can do it for five, which might might be worth it. Let's see what we draw though. Uh, Wizard's lightning, pain in the butt. Okay. So, find finality is pretty good, actually, ish. 
Unfortunately, this will come back. All right, so let's... Hmm. We could also Veraska. Pump it to eight. Okay, so let's... Let's Vraska. Let's go to eight. The idea is next turn we can finality and then destroy the creature. All right, so this can come in tapped and no attacks. We'll take another four in the air. At least he's down to only one card, so hopefully it's not a uh, experimental frenzy. All right, so I kind of have an idea. Alright, so... Okay, I was gonna say everything goes there, but... So, we'll see how he attacks. I mean, right now we're playing against Mono Red, and it's not all going to the face, so this is a win. Okay, so... Okay, so it's all going there. Alright, so I'm going to block and block. That goes to four. Okay, so let's... Destroy that. That's okay. Resolves. And let's... Finality. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll just decline. And get rid of everything. This put... So let's... Hostage taker... And a jade light. So that's going to be green. This has to be black. So those go back in our hand. Alright, so let's see what they got. I've officially cleared the board. Alright, so land another rekindling phoenix. Alright. Two, three, four, five. Alright, so... Let's hydroid crisis... For five... Gain two, draw two. Alright, actually, Vivian makes a decent combination. Because I can use Vivian to destroy Rekindling Phoenix and then Veraska to destroy the token it creates. Alright, that's, that's less than ideal, but. Okay, so, well, actually, now that we have this, let's, let's cast down. Let's, actually, I think I just wasted the cast down. I still should have done exactly what I said. Um, but the idea was this, and we're going to do it in a funny way. We're going to steal that and Lanawar. So let's, he can't block that. All right, so down to 13. I guess, oh, and scoops it up. I mean, yep, that was a good game against Mono Red. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's, it, it seems like he didn't draw a lot of burn. Um, draw, drew mostly, drew mostly creatures, but we'll take the win. All right. So, um, this, I don't want to call it a fun deck. It is a very good deck. Um, but it is a very good deck to grind through up to mythic. In fact, like I said in the intro between this and Esper, uh, control, that's pretty much how I made mythic last, last season. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed uh, this deck, if you enjoyed videos like this, uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe, 
Uh, hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a video. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday on YouTube. Um, I might, in about a week or so, I might be going up to uh, four videos. We might do one on the weekend as well, but we'll see. Um, yeah, see you in the next video.